Great story out today on The Intercept by uh, Ida Chavez uh, about how uh, some state governments appear to be sort of preemptively working with companies to track down those employees who might refuse to come back to work when their economy is reopened, even when many medical experts are saying that there's still a lot of reason to believe that the threat of COVID-19 is not substantially decreased, and these workers are justifiably worried about being exposed to it. So I want to read just a few excerpts from the article, which is available right now on The Intercept. There's now a form on the Ohio Department of Job and Family Services website for employers to confidentially report employees, quote, who quit or refuse work when it is available due to COVID-19, flagging them for the state's Office of Unemployment Insurance Operations. As of right now, Ohioans are unemployed as a result of the pandemic, but don't qualify for regular unemployment benefits, can also register for a new federal unemployment program, Pandemic Unemployment Assistance. This includes coverage for individuals whose doctors have advised staying home and for those who have child care duties, but so far, employees aren't protected if they're afraid of catching the virus at work, which, of course, many of them will be. And this system seems to be set up in a way that the government will be able to be told anonymously which employees are um, like refusing to come to work for other reasons and which are just afraid of you know exposing themselves or their families to a fatal pathogen uh, to potentially reject uh, cause them to not have access to the special unemployment fund. Yeah, they're using the threat of the law and of economic misery to try to force people into what they consider uh un unsafe conditions it's 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 blunt it's direct it's it's done in as you saw it's done in collusion with employers you know they they the forum promises you know uh pure you know strict confidentiality between you know the bosses and and the government so that uh em, you know employees don't come back and say wait you you know you turned me in uh to the state after I told you that, you know, my mother and my grandmother are both living with me. And so I, I was nervous about uh, infecting them with coronavirus. And you know, there's there's more than 30 plus million people uh, unemployed, many of whom mm -hmm. are looking for work. Let those folks um, have those jobs if, if they want it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh, by the way, um, I'm seeing in the comments, people are saying that today TDR stands for the Darling Report. <laughs> <laughs> and someone said that's the next generation of TY TYT reporters. Uh, you never know. Maybe New York Times. Maybe Washington Post. Um, so, so hello, kids. Uh, so, I wanted to add, by the way, that um, when you know, if you're not in Ohio right now and you're trying to get an idea of um, how reasonable is it that these employees are worried about being exposed to COVID-19, as of when I checked this morning, Ohio so far has had uh, 21,576 cases of coronavirus. Uh, God, God only knows how many they actually have, but that's the number of confirmed and over 1,200 deaths already. Um, and, you know, and so they're very worried. And, and by the way, like put it in the context of what other states are doing as well. Um, I saw reporting this morning that the Hillstone Restaurant Group in Texas uh, told their employees, you are not allowed to wear a mask or any sort of facial covering, potentially because they're worried about sending the, the signal that things are not safe. Um, even though by doing that, you are making things less safe. And they told their employees that they're going to be offered 40 hour schedules right now. And if they refuse them, they will not be eligible to be rehired at a later date. Like you come back now and disarm yourself against the virus or potentially lose your job forever. Right. And Ohio is one of the states that has behaved more responsibly than any others. They shut down uh Early, they shut down earlier than than most states. The the Republican governor Mike DeWine uh, suspended the the presidential campaign the, or the the election the primary election there while while other states recklessly went forward. But this shows that uh, a, a lot of the public health concern you know stops at a certain class level yeah. in, in this country, and that you know when there's a competition or a conflict between uh, the 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 upper class, ruling class, having having people serve them, and the public health of the people doing the serving, you know, it's go it's going to be the upper class that that wins out. Yeah, uh, it's looking that way, and um, you know, we're sort of waiting to see. We had um, the reopening of a few states uh, this last Friday and the Friday before that. And so, you know, in five days, in 10 days, we might begin to see the the initial 
uh, spike that comes from that reopening, assuming that the testing is even being done to the extent that we'll be able to find it. Um, and I just, I hate the situation that these employees have been put in where they're being put out of work and uh, most of what they're hearing on right-wing media is, uh, no, we want we want to reopen. We don't care if it's dangerous. And, and we, we want that because we care about these people who are out of work and they're losing money. And that's what they're saying. They're never saying the government needs to provide aid to them. The government needs to send out an additional check. The government needs to do anything. It's that that potential set of solutions is 100% ignored. The only way to help these people that they swear they're worried about is to send them into the breach. Call them warriors, disarm them, and send them in uh, to potentially die. It, it is true that that people are suffering economically through this. There's absolutely no question about that, and and that should be foremost in in politicians' minds. But like you said, the 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 answer to that is to take care of those people. We are asking them to to stay home, to to protect and to benefit the the public, so the public can take care in return of of those people. The answer is not, like you said, to to throw them into the mall. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want, with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.